HT2, 99.7 The Box, 99.3, Charleston's number one party station, DJ Tangerman here with a very special guest today in the city for a very special, important reason. My main man, yay, Kanye West is here on Faith. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing very good. I'm blessed and highly favored. What brings you to Charleston, South Carolina today? Well, as we said on the second album, late registration, I admit. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, most, hey, most them. You know we're going to get to that because, you know, that's the number one question across all of America right now. Uh, why so late, Kanye? You know, when the spirit calls on you, you can't plan the timing. It's really up to God on the appointment on whether or not I will be in office in 2020 or in 2024. But that's said because there are no ifs, ands, or buts, as my mama used to tell me. We going full steam ahead. And if it is in God's will, we will be in the office in 2020. And if it's in God's will, we will be in the office in 2024. And if it's in God's will that I don't go to office till 2024, then we will be in office in 2024 and 2028. Faith is very strong as it should be, as I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. And as every person, it goes without saying, the number one question is, why should I, me and everybody listening right now, why should I issue my vote for Kanye West for president? Everything we're doing is an honor to God. We're just going by the words. I don't have all the words. I don't have all the answers, but we'll pray and find the answers and we'll show the nobility that we have as people, even place in the harshest environments like Job, that we shall be noble, that we're not pointing fingers at anybody else but ourselves at this point and saying, how are we following? what God has shown us. How are we being faithful to our Father? And through that, we will see incredible increase, maximum increase. Every time I went into an organization, the organization went up. I went to Jay-Z's organization, I went to Title, we tripled the subscriptions. I went to Kardashian Jenner, everybody ended up on the cover of Vogue. Powerful. We went to Adidas, it was a $15 billion company losing $2 billion a year. But before COVID hit, we were at $62 billion. And that organization, we have, we have done a new deal, but that organization turned me into a billionaire. I got a 15% royalty. Michael Jordan had a 5% royalty. Wow. Michael Jordan is worth the last I heard, his net worth was in between $3 billion and $6 billion. The last I heard, Phil Knight's uh, worth is between $30 billion and $60 billion. Everyone knows what Jordan looks like. No one knows what Phil Knight looks like. You know, that's because we have to show ourselves. But it's fine because we don't burn in the sun. Right. So it's okay. We can step out into the sun a little bit. Um, you know, there's prayer warriors that are saying Trump should be in office for four more years. And I'm, the, see, that's the problem, the I. This is all up to God. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not for Biden. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Y'all could remove my black car. You could, y'all could forget about the donations I've made. Y'all could forget about me in the marches. Everything that the Democratic Party that controls Instagram, which controls the emotions of the black people, want to tell you about, yay. But this is my stance. This is what's gonna happen. Either I'm gonna be office in 2020 or Trump gonna be in office in 2020. So that's y'all choice. Because for the fact that I'm standing here right now, Biden ain't finna be in office. Because there ain't nothing that I do where I don't go hard. Right. And I ain't out here to lose. Now, if I lose, that's not particularly a loss. That just means that's a training. That's something like Thomas Edison where he just ain't figured it out yet. So because it's so late in the process, there's a chance that I won't be in office. Can you explain that to me? What is the process with it being so late? I read a lot of things and they say you need a certain number of signatures per state. Is that how it goes? We have a certain number of signatures per state. I am on 42 ballots now. I signed that. But I'm telling you, my black people, I cannot say that I'm saddened because God gives everything. The only emotion that I ever experienced is pure joy. Joy through pain, joy through happiness. But for us to be so still mentally enslaved to the point that we would vote for someone that blatantly said, if you don't vote on me, then you're not black. Right. And then as soon as your greatest artist, genius level companion steps up and says he gonna vote, that y'all would let Instagram mind controllers that only control a billion of the population. It's about seven to eight billion people on the planet because some people are illegal aliens, so we can't count everybody. Right. Right. It might be nine billion for all we know. Now, <laughs> so you guys, what has Biden done for you? 
Name one of Biden's songs. Name some Biden shoes that he did. Name a Biden moment where he said, George Bush don't care about black people. Oh, well, obviously. What do you mean? Why would he care about black people? He don't have to. And the Democrats don't have to. But guess what? I do. But in me caring about us, I have to start with us. It ain't about the election. It's about us because we electing to listen to music that promotes adulteration. We electing to promote killing each other. We electing to go from being don't do drugs to selling drugs to being dope heads. And we promoting that. You see, that's what Farrakhan was talking about. And I'm not afraid to use the name Farrakhan out loud just because they pinned him as an anti-Semitic to take his power away. We in a different culture. Trump can't be canceled. Kanye can't be canceled. Biden wouldn't even know if he is canceled. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so leading into that, what will be your leading agenda in... uh yeah, this this last question right here. What would be your leading agenda, and have you thought as far as ahead to, f- to see who would be your running mate? I think Trump will be a great vice president. That would be my first pick. Kanye is president. Trump is vice president. And what would be your what would be the agenda that you want to push? <laughs> but we have we have it. We have a running mate right now named Michelle Tidball, who is a Christian pastor out of Wyoming. And you know every black president need a Michelle. <laughs> I see what you did right there. I see what you did. Hey, that's great, man. Once again, uh, the event is today. It's yeah. Quiz 5101 Ashley Phosphate Road. The man himself, Kanye West, as you like to be called. Yay. Yay. <laughs> He's here for you, for everybody here in South Carolina, as well as everybody listening right now. Any last words you want to say to the people? King had a dream. I got a to-do list. Thank you, man. I really appreciate appreciate you coming in and blessing me. Right here on your number one party station, it's the box.